Well, it looks like we are finally starting to get more and more info about 4.6, and today we got some early animation info about Arlecchino. Or so we think. I'll explain why I said that soon. Also, before I start this video, yes, yesterday's videos got mixed up with different thumbnails and titles. I was so busy helping my mom that I handed the uploading and partial editing to my friend, and you all know what happened. He is a good friend and editor, but even he rushed it as well. I barely had time to check everything yesterday, so I apologize for the confusion. All right, yesterday we had some new info come out about Arlecchino's animations and also kit details. But you know me, I don't like early info because it tends to be half correct. So I did some digging and found out the sources and a lot more that will surely get you excited. The sources of this news are said to be Uncle K and TL Cousin Guoba, commonly known as TL Guoba, but Guoba has come forth and said himself that he shouldn't be tagged as the source as he just translates the information and doesn't have insider info. Since Guoba acknowledged that he was the one that translated it, it does seem to be coming from a credible source, which is Uncle K. Even HXG Diluc has mentioned Uncle K here and there, so I'm guessing he has a really good background and good credibility. Let's first look at the news and then see a few questions asked by the community that Guoba explained or translated as well. So according to the translation, Arlecchino will have a dual blade stance, and in her elemental burst, she takes off her jacket and fights. She works well in teams with Clorand and Chevros, and her AoE damage goes crazy even without reactions. Now I have to ask how they know how good Clorind is with Arlecchino, since we barely have info on, you know, Arlecchino. Maybe they do have some early kits on Clorind, and that's what they are basing it of. But it does seem a little sass, not gonna lie. Now let's see the questions that the community asked. So if Arlecchino takes off her jacket in her burst, does that mean her hairstyle will change? And also, does her ability still use the scythe? The answer was, we gotta wait until her animations, but a double blade and taking off her coat are included in her kit. The next question asked is if she will be like Lady Maria from Bloodborne and not use a scythe, but dual blades, since that was her inspiration in the concept art. The answer was that the stance would change to dual blades, so I'm guessing her weapon before burst will be a scythe and after it turns to dual blades. Another question asked is if she will have a special charged attack, and the answer was that she's got a new modification. I'm not sure what that means. The next question, they saw somewhere that Arlecchino is suited for overload, so does that mean her damage without reactions won't be as crazy as Nouvellet? The answer was that her modifications are pretty crazy, but to be fair, her raw stats are high enough and she won't really need reactions. But adding a reaction will elevate her damage. Then he also comments on the old news that the Cheverus team will be crazy with her and won't take much brain power to use. The last question asked is if Arlecchino is tied to Clorind, so if you need Clorind for Arlecchino, the answer is no. She can also be played with Furina comps as well. So yeah, that's what I could find about this. Also, Gooba has said he shouldn't be tagged as the source, as he is not a data miner. He just translates, but he does appreciate people crediting him for his translations. So let's all thank Gooba for his translation. Thank you. So yeah, that's all I have for this video. So what do you think? Comment down your thoughts, and while you are at it, like and sub too. Oh, and turn on the notifications as well so you don't miss out on anything. Thank you for watching, and have a wonderful day, everyone.